We've now got things set up so that when users connect to our API, they are going to get a session established and a cookie set in the browser. So what we can do now is when users log in, let's set the user information on the session. First, let's review what we've currently got happening when a user authenticates. We take the email and the password that they send from the login form. Then we find that user by their email. And next we verify their password. We've got this function here called verify password, which is going to take the user supplied password and then the password that is hashed in the database for the user and compare those two, make sure it's good. And if so, we're creating a JSON web token for the user currently. Once we've got the JSON web token, we send that back in a response with some other information. So remember, we are getting away from JSON web token authentication in this module. We're going to completely remove JSON web tokens and we're going to rely on cookies and sessions. But for the time being, we're going to run these in tandem so that we can piece by piece remove the JSON web token parts of our app and swap it in for cookies and sessions. So the very first thing that we can do here is we can just set the user info on the session as the user authenticates. So right before we respond with our JSON data, let's say request.session.user equals user info. Let's save that. And now let's go and log in once more and see if we can get the user's information logged out to the console. So we'll log out and then log back in. Once we do, we get back over to the dashboard and we get the user information that we have previously saved on the session. So one nice thing about this approach is the user information now exists on our session object. So any request that comes in will now have this session object and we can pull user information from it. We can get the user's ID. We can tell other things like their name and email. And that's going to be useful as we build out our endpoints. Now, one caveat when it comes to working with cookies and sessions is that they are stateful and therefore volatile. So what that means is if I were to restart the server, so I will save this here and give the server a restart. Now, if I come back over and refresh the page to get dashboard data again, I no longer have that user session here. And that's because every time that I restart the server, the session information is going to be wiped. So keep in mind that the setup that we have currently here with just keeping sessions in memory on the server, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to work for any production level application. And that's because in production, your server will get restarted all the time. Maybe it's from an automatic daily restart like is done on Heroku, or maybe it's because your application crashes and needs to restart. Either way, we'll need a more robust session store and we'll see how to do that later on. For now, let's just set this up on the signup route as well, and we'll be done with this step. So coming down to sign up, let's go up here just above where we respond with data, and we'll say that our user info is going to be set on session as well.